Allow me to introduce myself. I am the last sane sports fan. Uh, I am a genius by trade. and welcome once again to The View from the Midwest. Well, today's kind of a special show because we're not going to talk about sports. I've said in the past that this is kind of an entertainment show, so I want to welcome in anybody who's uh, not used to it. Obviously, uh, given the subject matter that I'm going to talk about, I'm going to post it a few extra places. Uh, if you want to subscribe, I'm more than welcome to have you and keep the conversation going. I, I do talk about movies every now and then, but it's mainly a sports channel, but um, I'd be more than happy to have you on board. But Yesterday was the big day, and today we are going to talk about, that's right, Star Wars. Right here I got my nice little friend Kylo Ren, diecast. Uh, got it from the Disney Store on uh, Force Friday. Uh, really pleased with that. But the big thing yesterday, obviously, was the trailer was released. The final trailer for Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Uh, and it was kind of an interesting night for me because uh, there was no internet in the house. Uh, because uh, our internet service provider, for whatever reason, whenever somebody's working on the line, it seems to screw up our internet in particular. And then all of a sudden we call them and the, the, the customer service has no idea what's going on. And then it takes like a day or two to get things sorted out. But um, obviously, if you're watching this, I got the video posted. Uh, that being said, watching it initially, I got to be honest, I didn't care for it initially but for some reason it must have been the, the the quality that I was watching or perhaps I just kind of expected uh, something else uh, something a little more akin to the old Star Wars uh, to where you, you had that kind of rousing effect and it's like yeah the good guys and everything and but you didn't see a whole lot of that in this trailer so originally I didn't care for it too much but I also kind of think that was because I was watching a grainy live stream video of the football game showing the trailer at halftime as opposed to being able to watch it on my crystal clear TV. Uh, so that kind of took away from the experience a little bit as well. But I enjoyed it and then I went back and watched it once it was posted online and even though I was still watching it on my phone the, the music is really what hit me because I'm really hoping that some of that music is from the new soundtrack because uh, it sounds different. It's obviously the Star Wars themes but it's still, it sounds a little bit more like uh, kind of French horns or, or uh, some sort of horn as opposed to a trumpet, which is what John Williams is mainly known for. And it really kind of got me emotional because it, uh, just hearing that music and, and Han Solo say, it's all true, the Jedi, the dark side, everything, everything that we did in the past, all the stories were true. It just kind of started welling up in me. And then I couldn't stop watching it over and over and over. And there's so many many questions now that this new trailer opens up. Uh, obviously, we had uh, everybody who is part of the uh, Collider Jedi Council, and I do uh, encourage any of you who are not part of that group to join it. Watch Collider Jedi Council. It gives you all kinds of information, not just on Episode 7, but all sorts of Star Wars things. Uh, you can find that on YouTube uh, at uh, the Collider channel, and then every Thursday is Jedi Council. That being said, um, obviously they they are probably elated. I haven't had a chance to watch their reaction to the trailer so far, but all sorts of questions arise. It's like, uh, what kind of setting is Han hugging Leia in? It's like, is somebody is somebody injured? Is somebody dead? Are, are they just kind of meeting for the first time in a long time? What kind of emotions were there? Who's that person that Ray is crying over? Some people seem to think that it's Chewbacca. Other people think that it's somebody else. It, it's kind of grainy, too hard to tell, although it did look kind of furry, so it, uh, difficult to say there. But all sorts of questions. Were those the Knights of Ren standing in the rain? I mean, that was an awesome shot. A little bit dark. Maybe it'll show up better on the on big screen once I can watch it on a computer or on a, a TV. Obviously, it'll look fantastic in the movie theater. But on the phone, it was a little bit dark for my taste. But still an awesome shot to see that red lightsaber with the rain pouring down and all the helmets and everything. And Kylo Ren talking to the Darth Vader mask saying that I'm going to finish what you started. What did 
Darth Vader start? Is he talking about the eradication of the Jedi? And Kylo Ren is obviously going after Luke. He's obviously found where Luke is or something like that. So many questions, but such a well-put-together trailer. The, I could understand if there were people out there that didn't necessarily like it. You didn't get to see Luke. Obviously, you didn't get to see uh, Snoke. Uh, there, there really wasn't a ton of story elements that were put into this one. It was still a lot of kind of uh, mishmash. Obviously, it was uh, focused on Ray a lot, saying, who is she? And she's saying, well, I'm nobody. And does she really not know who she is, or is she kind of keeping that to herself? Is she, does she know that she's related to somebody important, but not willing to uh, divulge that information to the person that is uh, talking in the voiceover? And who was that? Was that Lupita Nyong'o's uh, character? I apologize if I'm butchering her name. Uh, but is that who that was? Is it somebody else that we haven't really been initiated to? Uh, obviously, whoever that is seems to have some sort of knowledge of the Force because she seems to be able to sense that whoever she's talking to is Force-sensitive. Uh, just a well, well put together trailer. Disney, uh, for all of the apprehension that any of us had about Disney buying Lucasfilm, they have played this picture perfectly in terms of the marketing of this film. Uh, I do think that some of the marketing in terms of advertising, in terms of uh, product placement, like we're seeing Campbell's now advertised, that's getting a little close to the levels that it was for episode one. But in terms of just sheer production of the movie, or uh, pro uh, previewing the movie, excuse me, as I kind of ramble on here, in terms of that, in terms of the marketing of the film itself, not any ancillary products, they have done it right on the tee. They have just gotten anybody who is vaguely interested in it, interested in it more. Obviously, those of us that are diehard fans are just foaming at the mouth. Uh, I got my tickets. Me and my wife are going to go on December 17th. I talked myself out of getting the marathon simply because it starts at 4 a.m. Uh, I, I really wanted to go to the marathon but that was just a little too much. I think I'd rather watch the DVDs at home, uh, the Blu-rays, I should say, at home, and then be really amped up and, and frothing at the mouth for Episode 7 instead of slouching in my chair full of too much popcorn that that's all I've had all day. But uh, can't wait for the movie to come out. What are your views on the trailer? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Somewhere in between. What did you think about some of the questions that I raised as well? If you like the show, give us a thumbs up. Give us a, a subscribe as well. As I said, mostly sports here, but we're kind of an entertainment channel here at The View from the Midwest. Talk about kind of whatever is uh, going on in the world of entertainment. So comment, rate, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up on Facebook or YouTube. But until the next time, this has been The View from the Midwest, and I am the last seen sports fan because we're all crazy. But until the next time, I'll see you then. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so pleasant about that place. Even your emotions have an echo in so much space.